I'm making this far, they hate it, they never believe me. Yo, I would never drop the ball, I know I make it look easy. What is going on guys, John with the PB Fit, and today we're talking about two different Hermesis items. And that is a Chanter headband and the Pharaoh. So why am I talking about these two particular items? There's a ton of headbands and headgear out there that everyone knows about. However, these two items are uniquely different to Hormesis in particular and to the head game gear in general. Now the first one, the Chanter, is unique to Hormesis, but you may be really familiar with the cut of the headband. This piece right here is a Chanter. Now there's one thing you're gonna notice in particular that is vastly different from all other Hormesis headbands, and that is the tails. This is more reminiscent of sandana headbands. Now, here is a sandana that I've had for a long time. If you look at the tail, it's pretty thin. Take a look at this bobcat from Hormesis. As you can tell, traditionally the Hormesis tails are a lot thicker, so they fall differently. So I think it's really cool that Hormesis has her own spin on the sandana style tails. Now when you put this headband on, the tag is very similar as far as placement goes to the sandana tag, which is really cool as well, because I actually like the placement of the sandana tag more off to the side than closer to the front of the brow. Huge shout out to my friend Briar, who allowed me to take a look at the Sparrow and the Chanter so I could do a review on it. Now, without y'all support, there's no way I'd be able to keep putting out these high quality videos for y'all to enjoy. Now, this Chanter is canvas, but I have seen cloth Chanters. I think they're released at different events. And you could already see that the tails are a lot thinner. Right? I kind of like it. it. Ties really nice. I think when the canvas is broken in, it'll fall a lot nicer. Like I said, this headband is brand new, so you can see kind of the creases and whatnot in it. But it ties really nice, and you can kind of see the placement closer to the temple as far as the tag goes, which I honestly appreciate that. I'd rather have it closer to the temple than over the brow or like even some I've seen people wearing it with the Hormesis logo in the center of the head. I just think it looks a lot better closer over here or even right before the ear I think is really good tag placement. Now just like anything else with Hormesis you can expect high quality material to be used. I'm still a huge fan of the canvas. As you've seen lately, they've been coming out with a lot of cloth. That's because cloth is on high demand and canvas wasn't really appreciated by a lot of people. So if you think about it, cloth is what everyone wants because that's what Hermesa started with. And I totally get it, but I think it's cool that they're still coming out with denim headbands and hopefully some more canvas headbands in the future. Because if you look at these canvas headbands, the quality of the dye and the coloring is absolutely Gorgeous. I mean, man, this coloring on this Chanter is amazing. I also like the Chanter here as well, because kind of like it separates it, and it, you know that it's a different type of headband. It's a different series. Once again, Terry is super nice, super soft. I love every little detail that they put into these headbands. It really makes them special. And with the Chanter series, they've truly pulled no punches because this is an absolutely gorgeous product that they've come out with. Now, when it comes to the Pharaoh, I'm not gonna lie, when it was announced, I was like, is that just like a different cut as far as the Skintilla goes? I was like, this is basically a Skintilla, but with kind of like this V shape in the back. But honestly, it wears a lot different. It's truly its own thing. The Pharaoh is a unique product, super cool, and it actually wears really nice, and it looks great with a mask on. Once again, high quality fabric, super nice. Just take a look at the design. Gold dragons, absolutely beautiful. Gold tag, I really love this tag. The Velcro, from what I understand, They've improved on their Velcro because I know a lot of people had issues with their original Skintilla Velcro, but they've went ahead and updated Velcro across the board so you know this stuff is gonna last a really long time. Once again, stitching looks great. The way they do the stitching is really, really nice, and the quality of this cloth is gorgeous. This is why you see so many people taking these and turning them into headbands because they're so nice. However, I think that the Pharaoh is so unique and so cool, I, I wouldn't change it. There's nothing I would do to this thing to make it different, but that's just me. Once again, Terry, super nice Terry. Little details go a long way when it comes to these type of things because you're paying a premium price, you're expecting a premium product, and once again, Hormesis delivers with the Pharaoh. Let's go ahead and put the Pharaoh on. One thing about the Pharaoh that you'll notice is that it covers the ears. It's almost like a, it kind of fits like a beanie almost if you think about it. When you, when you put the Pharaoh on, initially you're gonna be like, man, this is really puffy, and it is a little bit, um, but you go ahead and adjust accordingly, and you're gonna wanna tuck this part down. When you tuck this part down, it looks a lot nicer, and it gives it a lot 
cleaner look when you're going out there, right? So you wanna have this part down, pull it down as, as much as you can. So I'm gonna take the chanter, and I'm gonna take the chanter, I'm gonna put it on, and this is the Pharaoh. All right, as you can tell, it covers my ears. So honestly, it offers ear protection. I know like with my F8s, my, the bottom of my ear like sticks out a lot, but it offers some protection there. It offers some padding, however you wanna look at it. But it's kind of like a beanie almost, as you can tell. Um, the back, I don't know if you can see, the back goes down just a little bit, not as far as like a scintilla, um, or like any other wrap for that matter. And you can tell why they call it a pharaoh, right? So it looks really cool, very unique. It gives the what's that factor when you're down at the field. So if you're a paintball player who's trying to look unique, who's trying to be different, who's trying to do their own thing, the pharaoh is going to be for you, much like the Hutan hat. It's going to separate you from everyone else out on the field. And when you pair it with your favorite mask, it looks even cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Now, as you can tell, this looks really awesome, super unique, way different than anything else you'll see on the field. So that's what makes this Pharaoh so cool, so different, so awesome, right? So I love the quality of the fabric. It feels nice. It's pretty breathable. I know a lot of people rock beanies. This may be a cool substitute for a beanie if you're looking for something like that, just because it is supposed to go over the ears like this. At least this is how I would wear it, and I would wear a headband over it. I just like to put a headband over anything, like as a second layer. If I'm wearing a scintilla, if I'm wearing anything like that, any sort of wrap, I put a headband over it. It's just something I do. Um, you don't have to do that with this. You could just wear it by itself but it's just something I like and I think it looks freaking awesome. So I'm gonna do it. So that's what the Pharaoh is. Now these drops are few and far in between. So if you see them and you're even considering getting one of these, you might wanna just jump on it and give it a try because these don't last long and they don't come around very often. If you're able to grab a Pharaoh and you're able to grab a Chanter, I highly suggest it. I would love to see more chanter cuts come out because man, I really want these thinner tails. I'm hoping to find one that's cloth somewhere just so I could have that as well. I can't imagine the thought process and time that has come together to design and develop these two items because honestly, they're, they're works of art. I keep saying it, it, it may sound cliche, but these aren't just headbands that someone like pumps out of a factory or they just make a material and they cut it and then they they just send it out to the world. And that's why I love Hormesis. They keep trying to do different things and try to kind of go different directions and develop different things. And I appreciate that because sometimes like things can get really stagnant and really monotonous. And when stuff like this comes out, it makes things exciting. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions at all, please post below and I'll be sure to answer them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm posting more videos. And I'll be sure to talk to you guys soon. Peace.